Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. American Living in Melbourne. Let's do it. Hello, good morning. Monday now. I feel a paw on my foot. Yes, Luna. Hi. Just got back from the field Saturday. Today's Monday, so it's been like a bit hectic and a bit all over the place. I was out on a row island. Potentially was supposed to go anywhere from like seven to ten days, but we were only there for four. We like smashed out the work and the weather was good enough to get off, which is incredible. But before I get too ranty, hello, just wanted to pop in quick because I got an exciting package. Big shout out to Ororo. I really hope I'm saying that properly. They are a heated apparel brand that's recently launched over here in Australia. So I'm quite excited. I was so excited when they reached out because if there's one thing you know about me is with all of the trips that I've been doing out to remote islands and sometimes sleeping in tents, staying warm is most definitely a priority. So. Their stuff comes with a little battery pack, which you can charge. And then I'm so pumped. Well, first off, look at this packaging. It pretty much comes in like its own mini little travel cube. And it comes with some stickers. Very, very fun. This is one of their new arrivals. Okay, look how cute. I love the style, especially something to just throw on. Let's do a mini little try and haul. They have like so many different options, like pullovers, like full puffers, zip ups, everything you need to keep warm. And then has a little front pocket and then the battery pack I can feel must go in here. So I'll show you guys quickly the battery pack. So unique, when they reached out, I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I would love to try. Yes, so here is the little battery pack and then it also comes with a charging cable, so I'm also gonna trial putting it in. So let me take this off just so I can figure out how to put it on. So cozy, like such a good layer. Luna is literally looking at me like I'm crazy. Okay, so we've migrated to the office. Cool, she's supervising. So it's the little zip pocket for the battery, which honestly is so convenient because this is quite hidden and it still has all of the normal pockets that a coat or a jacket would have, like the two side pockets, and then this one has this full pocket as well. Okay, so after checking the user guide, <laughs> honestly forgot it came with it. This is the power button I did unplug to charge the battery. Okay, so before I do a test, I think the battery should be charged now. Some key features just to note, which I'm really excited about. There's the three heating levels for adjustable warmth, up to 10 hours of runtime on the battery, which is really good. It says it should heat up in seconds. So let's try that out. Okay, so I did something crazy. I actually read the instructions and it said, press and hold the power button for three seconds. So you can see it's blinking red, so it's heating up. So, oh my gosh, it's already getting warm. Ah! Okay. Wait, I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna put it on, I'm gonna put it on. Looks cozy. It is very cozy. Mm. Okay, so it is still heating up, but I can like feel it. Mm -hmm. Like it's warm, mm -hmm. like down here. This is crazy. There's like a bit all in my upper back and that's really warm. And then it's getting warm here, but I would say right now I feel the strongest in my back. This is so cool. I'm heating it's up. It's a little hot pocket. <laughs> Literally, I'm just heating up. Still what's the what's the pocket? Blinking red. You know, um, front pocket? Yeah, so these are normal pockets. Oh, but what's this? And then that's a normal pocket. Oh. Oh, it's like a little kangaroo pouch. Yeah. Oh. So that's why I was like, this is perfect for the fields. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, and these are, this is a one big pocket here too. Isn't this cool? It's so funny, you can see the logo like flashing. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, that's the power button. Okay, I'm excited. I approve. Like literally my back is so warm right now. Can I feel? Yeah. Oh, it's, oh, it's there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, Far do you want out. one? I do. Thank you so much, Oro, and make sure to check them out in the link in my description. Join me on the Journey to the Ranges wine tour around the Macedon Ranges here in Victoria. Woo! <laughs>
This is a real glass, wow. Yeah. Are you okay with that? <laughs> Cheers. This is a good spot, I don't know. <laughs> Ooh. It's like a G and T. It's like a G and T. Yeah, it's not as it's not as um what's word I'm looking for? It's not as filled with botanics. Like it's not as earthy as a lot of G and T's on there. It's very good. Okay, we're back. Oh, also, if you see this, this is from a bird I was working with, um, but we're all good. Did it very safely, rightfully so. The bird was very upset. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, it is from a bird that I was handling. Um, we were working with out in the field. We were working with black faced cormorants, and so they have really long necks and they can like whip them around, and so he was unhappy. We we're collecting data, which I don't blame him. Like, the thing with the penguins is the yes, Luna is the penguins don't have those long necks. And so I normally just get bruises if they like peck me through my handling gloves, but not too bad. Really just this, but it could have been so much worse. They normally go for the eyes, so I'm not really complaining. Miss Luna, sassy, I'm gonna have to trim your claws today. They're getting a bit long. Okay, currently in Malvern, Amadale. I don't really know the difference. I don't know if they're next to each other. Got some things knocked off the to-do list. I'm gonna go pick up some lunch. I know this place is like around Melbourne because I've seen it in a couple different locations. It's called Fishbowl. It's kind of like a create your own. I'm so sorry about the wind. I need to figure out or get an attachment for my camera to help with the wind because Melbourne is actually quite windy. Okay, lunch. Quite a bougie area. I didn't know they had like a Lululemon and all of these like fancy clothing brands. Haven't really explored much over here. Okay, just got home, had a nice big clean. Especially if I'm working from home, I just need to have a really clean space. Like clean floors, everything organized, Luna's all set, everyone's just happy. Can I place you here? You're currently bouncing on a candle, so if it works, I don't really know. Figure it out. So, Fishbowl was so good. I would definitely recommend like you could do a build your own bowl with rice, noodles, or a salad. Very good, really enjoyed it. And then I realized in the take the sealed takeaway bag they didn't give cutlery, so I was like, okay. I passed this cute bakery and I was like, you know what, let me try it. And then got cutlery from there, so it worked out. But got up to the counter, guess how much these were? So this is 12 macarons, or macaroons, however you wanna say it. Guess how much? $17. 17 dollars i oh my goodness i didn't need 12 but they didn't have a smaller pack i don't know i feel oh. but then it was like already too late at the counter and i was like oh it's fine we'll just get them because i was really excited to find something that didn't have dairy oh well supporting a local bakery 
think they're based out of Richmond, but they had a location in Amadale. So this literally just has hazelnut meal, sugar, egg, and vanilla. These are so sad. Like with the hazelnut texture. Mm, mm -mm. Like, oh well, oh well. Time to go get my nails done in need of a refresh. I know Luna, it's exhausting. Hello, good morning, next day now. It is Tuesday. Went to see the new Beetlejuice movie last night and if I'm honest, have not seen the first one, but I've like heard of bits here and there. But Brie and I have just really been enjoying going to the movies lately, like especially since the pandemic. It is so nice to go to the movies and where we go, the popcorn is um, like made with oil, not butter, so it's always really good. And yeah, just, a good time a good movie like i said i haven't seen the first one but it was a good mix of like comedy and a bit of a thriller so i would recommend if you're looking for a movie to watch and is it jenna ortega uh is so talented like perfect fit for her yeah a lot of fun on for the day did a bit of cleaning this morning a bit of organizing and i was gonna go into the office today but then katie if you guys have been around for Oh my gosh, literally two years. You would know Katie. She's one of my friends um, from Taz. And she's been in a couple of the vlogs like way back in 2022. So if you've been here since then, you're a real one. Katie is visiting. She moved to Brisbane before I moved to Melbourne. And she's visiting. So I'm gonna go hang out with her. We're gonna explore the CBD a bit. And yeah, really exciting. So let's go do that. Also shout out, love my family. I got a package in the mail yesterday from them because my family went to Alaska uh, last month. And so they got me a Alaska Torah shirt with a seal on it, of course, or well, this technically looks like a stellar sea line. And then Luna's been spoiled. This moose, it's a floppy fish. And then she also got some feather toys. So she's a happy gal. in the city just got off from flinders thankfully the brunch box that i'm meeting katie at is not far from flinders at all highly recommend i absolutely loved it last time i went it is code black sites of Melbourne. What do you think so far? Really great. Yeah, we went yeah. to the library. Yeah. Now we're at the Yarra. Very pretty. The wind's so nice today. Also, if anyone knows, does anyone actually use that pool? Like it literally is a pool yeah. on the side of a bar, but it's like Capri something. It just seems quite random. <laughs> Good morning and 
next day now. Was so nice to see Katie yesterday. Came back, had dinner here. It was so nice. And yeah, headed back into the city now to meet up with Katie. We're going to, well, we were going to go to the Queen Victoria Market, but I didn't realize they're closed on Wednesdays. So I think we're going to go to the South Melbourne Market and the Botanic Gardens. Let's do it. But coffee first, of course. <laughs> Okie dokie, headed to get a coffee. Not here, don't worry. So went to two conversations. Coffee was so, so good. I think like better than the first time I went. Um, Cause the first time I went, shout out Tatiana was when I came to the Melbourne Coffee Expo in 2022. But so good, we're down like a really cute alleyway just off Collins, it begins with an E. I forget what it is, but two conversations. <laughs> is really good and then we're just getting bagels here i've gotten bagels here before i remember yeah at least just something to hold us over do you want to say hi hi how how are you liking sit down how do you like melbourne so far i actually i i do like it so far you like melbourne um you're better first, than brisbane actually better than brisbane here yeah, you heard it here air first. is so much fresher air is fresher in melbourne over brisbane you heard it here first anything else That's, uh, i don't know like the like the um the library yeah we went to the impressive. library yesterday that was really nice yeah and um and also ash is the oh. best thing here like, oh thank you it's really sweet <laughs> yeah it's so nice to see you because katie lives in brisbane now really nice we're gonna go to the botanic gardens and the south melbourne market and we're gonna have a walk around and um yeah we're just getting some bagels and stuff oh my battery Coffee number two, camera died, but um, it's called Louie, just down the, down the alleyway. Okay, Shrine of Remembrance. I didn't even know you could go in, so this is news to me. We can, yes. Yeah, we can go up the steps. I don't know exactly where we can go. This is all news to me. I've walked by it a couple times. I didn't even know there was a visitor center. So we're all learning things today. Yeah, I had no idea this was that big. I've always wanted to crochet. Uh, they're supposed to be poppies. Yeah. I've always wanted to learn how to crochet. Maybe one day. Very cool museum, would definitely recommend. 